Ibig mong sabihin, sakim at greedy ang mga OFWs natin? Is that what you mean? Hindi po. I, I was saying... Sir, so, please don't use those words. Naka-offend po na hindi kontento. Kasi that's tantamon to saying na people are greedy and, and sakim in Tagalog. Marami sa ating mga OFWs, hindi po nagagamit yung pinahil sapagkat yung amo po nila ang nagbabayad sa kanilang pagamot na papadoktor pag hospital. So, itin ko, you mean to say, after mapagamot ito mga OFWs natin, libre ng kanilang mga amo, sisigilin nila ang ill health, mabos sa 1.181 billion? Yung pagtingin nyo, tingnan nyo ulit, magsalamin kayo, sir. Kasi kung tama yung sabi nyo, then, pasang kilay ng mga OFWs natin. Bakit? So, 1.181 billion yung claims nila. Samantalang, eh, pag ginagamot sila doon sa Saudi, Kuwait, kung saan malugan na yun, ang mundi na magpapayad. Wala pa ako narinig na OFW natin na pagbalik dito sa Pilipinas, sila ay nagkiklaim for reimbursement. I haven't heard of that. I have still to hear about that kind of statement from you, Attorney Santos, sir. Uh, hindi naman sila yung nagbabayad uh, ng gamutan sila ay nasa abroad, kundi yung kanilang amo, and then pagbalik dito, pagkiklaim uh, pa rin sila. I'm not questioning yung data ninyo. Na talagang, I'm sure, meron kayong ganun data. However, I'm questioning the legitimacy of that data that you have. Baka, yan na nga po yung napababalita, yung bang korupsyon, malawak ang korupsyon sa pill health, na may mga bogus claims. Ito na nga po siguro yun, na may nagbatayin ng claims behalf of these OFWs na hindi naman. Ipay ko yung kanilang pirma. Kaya nga, I need those records. Tingnan ko. Isa-isa kung kinakailangan. Pagpulatan ko yan at ng mga staff ko. Kung talagang sila ngayon nag-claim for reimbursement, eh baka naman hindi sila. Kapag hindi sila, eh dapat may makulong. Nakapasyal ho ba kayo sa National Children's Hospital? Yes, sir. Sure ka? Uh, yes, sir, because when was that? we conduct meetings when at the National Children's Hospital. Conduct Hospital, meetings. So. Uh, what kind of meetings is it? Sa saan ka banda doon sa NCH pagpupunta? Sa saan ka banda ka doon pupunta? Well, these are uh, meetings of the DOH na nakokonduct po kuminsan sa National Children's Hospital. Which, which floor? First, second, third? Anong floor doon? At anong sa, party doon sa NCH? Sa, sa, office of the, uh, sa office of the director, sir. Office of the director. And then yes. after, after the meeting, ano pong ginagawa ninyo doon? Yes, sir, if, uh, yeah, I'll make it short now. I'm, I'm going to make it short. Yes, sir. Um, ayon po sa mga taga-NCH, simula po nang itinatag yung NCH, may isang kalulunan daw po ng taga-DOH, official DOH, wala rin po dumalaw doon para tingnan yung sitwasyon nila. Pwede mo po siguro magsisinungaling yung mga official doon. Ano? I, I don't think that they will lie to me na buti ka pa po napunta rito. Pero ni isang opisyal ng DOH, wala mong pong pumasyal dito para tingnan yung kalunos-lunos na kalagayan namin dito, kalunos-lunos na kalagayan ng mga pasyente rito. Di ba? So, two decades, sir, I don't know if you're lying or not, but anyway, pumunta man ho kayo doon, lanang inyong DOH secretary, try to visit that facility. Kawawa po yun. And then siguro pag nag-visit kayo, doon sir, may kita nyo na talagang yung needs ng hospital na yun ng mga, ng mga bata nandoon at kung paano po ma-address yung mga pangailangan nila. Okay sir? Yes sir, of course po. Pangalawa sir, yung sa telemedicine. Okay, aman nila pinag-usap ng telemedicine. Um, marami kasi sa mga OFWs nagreklamo sa akin na bakit kami uh, inoobliga uh, na magbayad ng premium sa pill health now, uh, Senator JV sent it me with this document, and I think this document comes from you. Ama. Now, this contradicts dun sa mga reklamo ng mga OFWs na hindi rin nila pinapakinabangan. Napapakinabangan yung uh, health premium na binabayar nila. Kasi, example, 2021, 210 million ang totally collected premiums from the OFWs. Tama. And then the claims paid for that particular year, was 1.42 billion. So, ibig sabihin, talagang sobrang-sobrang pakinabang ng mga OFWs. Am I right? And then, same on 2020, 340 million, and the claims paid 1.36 billion. Is, it accurate? Is this accurate? 
record and then it goes on and on pataas na pa one uh, nung uh, 2019 1.8 million ang uh, nakolekta millions to right not billions yes sir 1.2 million billion na po. Ah, sorry okay 1.2 billion na and then 2.7 billion ang claims paid so lumilitaw na talagang sulit na sulit ano po mas malaki pa yung nababayan na claims versus sa premiums collected so Bakit po ang dami pa rin mga OFWs na reklamo na wala kaming pakinabang dyan, bayad kami ng bayad, and bakit pa saan yung bayad namin? So, hindi po tumutugma. Maliban na lamang, maliban na lamang, kung ito ay tumutugma doon sa kumalat na mabalita noon na marami sa mga clinics at mga doktor nagpa-file ng mga bogus claims. Ano po sa palagay nyo, Yusek? Uh, Senator Tulfo may defer that to uh, PhilHealth. Galing po sa PhilHealth. Probably, uh, newly, <laughs> the president of PhilHealth, Emmanuel Desmak, can answer. Alam ko, kaka-assume nyo lang, but siguro anybody from PhilHealth can answer. Uh, I'll answer, Your Honor. Um, thank you, Your Honor, Your Honors. Um, my answer would be, human nature kasi po, people are always hoping for more. You know? uh, I think generally, regardless of your status in life, uh, very few are really satisfied. No? Palaging sana mas mataas, sana mas marami. No? So I think uh, we will, I will answer your question by looking at the facts. No? And okay, so sir, may I interrupt just a minute? Just a second. Yes, sir. Hoping for more, hindi contento yung ibang tao. So, ibig mong sabihin, sakim at greedy ang mga FWs natin? Is that what you mean? Hindi po. I, I was saying... Uh, so, your... one, please don't use those words. Nakaka-offend po na hindi contento. Kasi that's tantamount to saying na people are greedy and and sakim in Tagalog. I apologize. I, support, sir. I apologize for the comment, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. What I wanted to highlight, Your Honor, is um, I feel that uh, I will have to disagree um, with the, with the OFWs because okay. you can use that word pero wag yung hindi makontento okay yes po kasi if sinabi mo hindi ba kontento ang kasunod niyan ang definition niyan ay sakim yes po kasi yung mga tao hindi makontento sakim ang tawag doon sa atin sa Tagalog ano po okay. so in English is greedy wag niyo pong bigyan ng that kind of image yung ating mga OFW especially okay po again, again my apologies thank you po, sir thank you po so I, I would like to use the 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 chart which uh, your good honor mentioned earlier, uh, Mr. Chair, wherein it clearly shows uh, for the year 2021, the premiums collected was uh, 0.21 or 210 million, mm -hmm. but the claims paid was 1.42 billion. Okay. So I think if we just base this on the chart, and uh, uh, this is very, this is a, uh, the sun is a very accurate chart. Okay. It shows po that, uh, it clearly shows po na nagbe-benefit po yung mga exactly. tao. Sa, so they benefit a lot. Sa, the, claim, sa, sa claims ng PhilHealth po. So and, did they benefit more uh, versus doon sa kanilang nababayaran na premium? Okay, contributions. Okay. Yes po. And uh, I'd like to say much, much more. Kasi if you look at much, much that, more. yung multiplier, ang laki po. Ano? Yes. Oo oh, nga, no? Okay. So, so again, po, mm -hmm. um, uh, and and again, you know, sorry for the language, but I feel from our end, from Phil Health's end, no, we are doing our part in serving the in serving the. Siguro, Ms. Um, Sir Ledesma, para maklarify kay Sen. Rafi, yung detalye na natin, yung claims paid, sino po ang kumukuha nito? Kasi OFW, sabi niya, nandun sila sa labas eh. Yes. So ito bang claims paid are members of the family who are still here? Kasi po, clarify niya na lang po. Kasi po lahat ng lahat ng members ng PhilHealth 100% po no. So kunyari may nagko-contribute, kung may mga anak, may mga pamilya. Excuse me sir, can you just answer the question of the chair? Sino ang benefit dito sa 1.42? Let's talk we're, we're talking about the 2021 uh, uh, year. Na premiums paid by the OFW 
210 million and then 1.42 billion claims paid. Sino po yung nag-benefit doon? Yun po yung tanong ni Mr. Chair. Yun sana ang tanong ko eh, naunahan niya na ako. Pakisagot lang po. Yes po. Yeah. Sino po yung mga uh, nag-benefit dito sa claims paid? Boy, if I can just give a, give a few seconds, no? I will give you the breakdown po. No? So, for... Hindi sir eh, pakisagot lang po. Doon sa 1.42 billion na claims paid ng 2021, uh, para sa mga OFWs. Yeah. Sino po nag-benefit doon? Mga OFWs ba? O or their families po. Or their yeah. families. Yes po. Do you understand the question po? I'm just getting the exact... Pakis, pakibigay lang po yung percentage, siguro po. Yes po. I'm just getting the exact figures po. Sorry, because I don't okay. have it on top of my phone. It's already here po. I just... You know what, sir? The answer? The possible answer for me? Family. Kasi, hindi mo na tingnan yung right course mo. Kasi nga, the, ben the OFW will not benefit. The OFW themselves will not benefit because they're out of the country. Yeah. Yes, po. I, 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 to, you, the, the right answer to Sana yeah. there is well, the family, the anak, the asawa, etc. Yeah, yeah. We we'll have to look at your yes. efforts. Most likely, po, I was going to say, sorry, Your Honor. Most likely, po, it's the family. Exactly. But in line with that, po, if I may add, po, since the families of the OFWs benefit, I think, po, it's also tantamount or it's close to the OFW benefiting. Kasi yung pamilya po nila. No, sir. No, sir. Again, wrong choice of words. The, the, the beneficiary are the uh, members of the family who are here, right? Yes. But when doon na bayad yung claims, doon sa pagpapacheck up, pagpapagamot ng mga families na dito, never na makikinabang dito ang mga OFWs. Tama? Because nandun sila eh. Hindi inaorin yung buong nandun eh. But, but if you'll tell me, meron kayong tinatawag na teleconsult, tumukonsult sa telepo ng mga OFW, then pwede pa naniningil yung mga doktor doon sa teleconsult na mga OFWs natin. Meron bang ganun programa ang PhilHealth? OFWs? Yes po. Just to... Um, yes sir, just answer. Yes or no? Yes. Yes po. The OFWs po can also avail the benefits abroad po. They benefit benefits abroad? How can they do that? How, how do they benefit? Okay. The, okay. If I can explain po... How, how can they claim I can, benefits can, abroad? Yes po. From PhilHealth? I had just joined PhilHealth. I know for a fact that they can avail for the details for how they can avail for if I can uh, okay. ask my COO attorney. Can you please, uh, anybody can answer because uh, we you understand you just assume. Yeah. So anybody from PhilHealth who is more versed dun sa program can answer para maano yung query ni Senator. Thank you, Your Honor. Attorney Eli yeah. Santos. Mr. Chairperson, good morning. Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo. Good morning, sir. Sir, an OFW is confined in a hospital abroad, he can, he or she can claim, that OFW can claim for reimbursement for the hospital expenses here in the Philippines. All that is needed, all that are needed are the documents pertaining to the hospitalization of that OFW, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo. So, ilan na po sa mga OFWs ang nag-claim ng reimbursement? Do you have those records? Mr. Chairperson, if I may. At, sige po, at magkano na po yung na-reimburse? Yung ba mga dokumento na yun ay legit? O, tulad na kapapabalita, bogus, may mga claims na bogus na i-file, binabayaran yung mga bogus claims kaya nga muntik muntik ka na malugi yung field health so please answer sir attorney sir honorable chairperson honorable senator rafi uh, tulpo sir at present sir we do not have the data uh, why not you came here i'm prepared you're a lawyer you should be prepared yes, sir. uh but we will submit the the required data the breakdown sir of of how many of the OFWs submitted their claims for reimbursement here in the Philippines. I need that record. Yes, sir. We have to provide the data, sir. Okay. Yes, attorney, please uh, provide this committee so we can also provide the uh, Sen. Rafi. Lahat na nag-reimburse, nag-claim, at yung nabayaran. Yes, sir. We provide that, sir. Uh, I'll tell you this, attorney. Maybe you don't know this. Yes, sir. Okay. But your OFW natin nagkasakit doon sa, let's say, sa Saudi. Yung amo nila, pinapagamot sila pinapa-hospital sila, and then pag-uwi ng bahay, okay na sila. Ngayon, sasabihin mo sa akin na this OFW na pinagamot ng kanyang amo, na binayaran ng kanyang amo, ng libre, ni-reimburse niya. Kasi kadalasan ganun po, sir, eh. 
99.9%, ganun po yung nangyari, na yung amo nila ang nagbabayad sa ospital. Amo nila ang nagpapagamot sa kanila ng libre. But there are times na yung amo nila, eh, sinisingil sila. O yung amo nila, pinapabayaan sila. Pero that's only a portion of the numbers of FWs nagkakasakit. Mostly, yung amo nila ang nagpapagamot and then libre. Kaya nga po, kung libre yun, nagpapareimburse ba sila sa inyo? And I need those records. And I need to know. At gusto ko makita yung sino pong, kung meron man, gusto makita yung mga pangalan na nagpapareimburse at pumipirma para pwede kong isa-isang tawagan at puntahan para masiguro talagang sila ngayon at hindi po bogus yung claims. Attorney, sir. Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Tulfo, sir, we commit to provide the data, sir, to this uh, committee as soon as possible, sir. But I would suggest to you, Attorney, yaman din lang na dito yung PhilHealth, wala ho ba kayong teleconsult service sa mga OFWs? Dito magkakaroon sila ng pakinabang. Yung bang 24-7, pagkakas dun sa mga basic illnesses. Kasi kung minsan may mga OFWs natin, kahit na trangkaso yun, gusto lang yun may makausap sila para matanggal yung stress at panic nila. Na a doctor on the other line would tell them, ganito po yan, huwag kong mag-alala. Ito lang pong ipo din yung inumin ng gamot. And then siguro, uh, makipag-usap kayo sa gobyerno ng uh, host country nun, kung nasa inyong ating OFW, na i-honor po yung inyong pong uh, isusulat na uh, reseta or kung ano man yung counterpart doon na medicine sa bansa na yun. Ayun ho ba ang gagawin ang arrangement? Tama ba ako, PhilHealth? Meron ho ba tayong teleconsult service? Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Tulupo, at present, sir, uh, we do not have it. But we are planning to do it, sir. We realize the significance and importance of telemedicine during the pandemic, sir. Then, only then, magkakaroon ng pakinabang sa inyo, OFW. Meron yung servisyo na yan. Unless, pero yan. Wala yan, walang OFW ang may kinabang. Maliba na siyang sabi ng reimbursement. And then kung meron talaga, then gusto ko makita yung records. Noon. Yes, sir. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Please, uh, my, uh, Mr. Ledesma. I just want to make a quick comment, Your Honor. Um, based on the question of Honorable Senator Rafi earlier, we were able to extract the data po for 2021. And the breakdown po are as follows, no? For the members, the payment, the claims amount was 1.181 billion. Now, for the dependents, the claims amount is 526 million. So, to summarize po, mas malaki po yung claims ng member versus the dependents po. So, so to, to repeat po, it's 1.181 billion for the members and roughly 526 million for the dependents. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Okay, so ibig mo sabihin na papakinabagan ng halos lahat ng mga OFWs ang premium nila. Kasasabi ko lang po kanina na marami sa ating mga OFWs hindi po nagagamit yung pinhel sapagkat yung amo po nila ang nagbabayad sa kanilang pagamot na papadoktor papadoktor sa hospital. So, titing ko, you mean to say, after mapagamot dito mga OFWs natin, libre ng kanilang mga amo, sisigilin nila ang ill health mabos sa 1.181 billion? Sir, the data shows in general the reimbursed amount in terms of, uh, for the dependents and the members no, 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 sir. Let's just talk about, sinabi kasi ni Mr. Ledesma na yung claims paid sa member, meaning doon sa OFW na nagbabayad ng premium, ay umabot sa 1.181 billion. Mas malaki pa kaysa doon sa relatives. Pero kung sasabihin niyo mas malaki yung dependence kaysa OFW, mas kapanipaniwala. This record, maho ba kayo? Yung pagtingin niyo, tingnan niyo ulit. Magsalamin kayo, sir. Kasi kung tama yung sinasabi niyo, then sa kilay ng mga OFWs natin. Bakit? One, so 1.181 billion yung claims nila. Samantalang, eh, pag ginagamot sila doon sa Saudi, Kuwait, kung saan man lugar na yun, ano nila magpapayad? Libre. 
wala pa ako narinig na OFW natin na pagbalik dito sa Pilipinas, sila ay nagkiklaim for reimbursement. I haven't heard of that. I have still to hear about that kind of statement from you, Attorney Santos, sir. Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, sir. So the data presented earlier by our uh, President and CEO pertains uh, in general to the uh, amount reimbursed to members and dependents. It was for this reason, uh, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulfo, that we requested that we be given the opportunity to provide this uh, committee the specific data that pertains only to the claims of. But, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, sir, hindi ba, Mr. Desma, kayo dyan sa field health? No, you guys are smart. Hindi mo kayo mapupunta dyan o malalagay dyan sa inyong mga posisyon kung hindi kayo smart. Di ba? Kasi meron mang ginagawa ang vetting ang Malacanang screening uh, for smart people to... Uh, serve the different departments of our government, right? So, you being smart people, the two of you, it defies logic. What I'm saying is, you know, 1.181 billion to YFWs na hindi naman sila na uh, hindi naman sila yung nagbabayad uh, ng gamutan sila yung nasa abroad, kundi yung kanilang amo, and then pagbalik dito, Pag, uh, I'm not questioning yung data ninyo. Na talagang, I'm sure meron kayong ganun data. However, I'm questioning the legitimacy of that data that you have. Baka, yan ang ating napababalita, yung bang korupsyon, malawakang korupsyon sa pill health na may mga bogus claims. Ito na nga po siguro yun na may nagbatayin ng claims on behalf of these OFWs na hindi naman. Nipake yung kanilang pirma. Kaya nga, I need those records. Tingnan ko. Isa-isa kung kinakailangan. Pagpulatan ko yan at ng mga staff ko. Kung talagang sila ngayon nag-claim for reimbursement, eh baka naman hindi sila. Kapag hindi sila, eh dapat may makulong. Yes, sir. Mr. Ledesma, sir. Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, thank you very much for the question. We fully understand uh, the point you're driving at. In your question so so with all due respect mr chair if we could be given some time what i will do i will personally um submit we will break down we will extract uh, in full detail all of the data's broken down po para makita nyo po very clearly um saan ang gagaling yung full figure po with the indulgence of Senator Rafi ang concern niya kasi kasi we, we know for a fact that feel health before ang mga issues dyan mga bogus claims yan yung mga nag-uubos ng pondo ng ano eh feel health yung mga upcasing so siguro what are you planning to do para masiguro lang na yung baka mamaya daw kasi yung mga yung mga claims baka galing sa mga bogus what are you do uh, under your leadership and the forms that are being undertaken by PhilHel para masigurado that those who are claiming talagang legit. Siguro yun ang concern ni San Rafi. Baka daw kasi yung, yung mga bogus, that, yung mga dating issues, no? Ano pong ginagawa nyo? And okay, before you answer that question, Mr. Desma, sir, January 11, 2023, dito tayo, hindi kayo kasama, consultative meeting, and I already requested for those records. Bakit hindi po dala? Hindi po kayo sinabihan ng inyong mga tauan na um, na pag-usapan ito at maaaring itatanong ko ulit. So, for the second time, I'm asking you. So, sa sunod nating hearing, baka wala na naman. Again, thank you for your question, Mr. Honor. Your Honors. Um, first of all, we will, we will comply. We will submit the data as soon as possible, Your Honor. Maybe if you can give us uh, even just a few days, uh, Your Honor. Um, like I said, uh, you will personally see to it that uh, the, the data is complete, um, it's in detail, and it will be submitted to the good committee. No? Um, and, uh, yeah, yes. To, to finish first your question, Your Honor, and you were saying last January 11, um, you requested for that to be submitted. Um, I'd like to apologize in behalf of the group no? um, why it was not submitted. But again, po, maybe you can be accountable uh, for the for a, after a few days we will submit that po. to answer the question thank you sir, thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome your honor to answer your question um senator ehercito no um, we're doing a lot of things but mainly 
yung regarding the bogus or the fraudulent claims no um even before i joined um i know that was one of the issues that was brought forward to me to my attention no so one of the things we're principally focusing on now um, uh, is um for the full computerization and digitization of field health no a lot of this po kasi yung pagka recording yung delays yung a lot of that is really to do medyo medyo backdated po kasi yung sistema namin no so uh, it's susceptible to uh, um, I'm not saying there was fraud or there is uh, there is connivance and all that, but it's susceptible. So we are working, we are prioritizing that, and in fact, we have met with with uh, both private sector, with government. Uh, we've been coordinating very closely with the ICT Sec Ivan, and uh, we are we are on the right path. Again, these things take time. But uh, I can um, fully promise uh, this good committee that uh, we are addressing it, we are working on it, and uh, we are trying our best to move to move it forward. No? Um, that's all, Your Honor. Thank you, Pro. Ma, maganda yung sinasabi mo, i-computerize nyo na uh, yung pong uh, sistema nyo dyan sa field health, right? Kahit anong klaseng computer ang ilalagay nyo dyan, pero kung yung nag-operate ng computer at yung mga tao dyan, mga luko-luko, nandiyan pa rin, Tuloy-tuloy pa rin korupsyon, tuloy-tuloy ang ligaya. So if I were you, kailangan nyo pong magwalis. Walisin nyo po yung mga luko-luko dyan. In fact, nakakatawa nga Mr. Chef, panahon ng pandemic nga na to, na yung isang sinabing korap, ay na-promote. Korap na nga, promote. Diba? It's not you, sir. Not, not you. So, siguro po, maglinis-linis kayo. Uh, linisin nyo po yung field health. Mag-imbestiga po kayo sino-sino po doon yung involved sa korupsyon. Alisin niyo po yun. And then, maniniwala ko na maging maayos na puntak po ng PhilHealth. Maniniwala kaming lahat. Okay, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ledesma. As chairman of the Committee on Migrant Workers, I'm one with the Committee on Health in pursuing alternative and long-term solutions that will enhance the lives of our migrant workers. Pagsapit po ng Pasko hanggang bagong taon, marami sa ating mga OFWs ang umuwi para magbakasyon at makasama ang kanilang mga pamilya. Subalit, hindi lahat sila ay masaya. Marami sa kanila ay dumidiretsyo pa sa aking programa para humingi ng tulong dahil bago pa ba makauwi ay ubus na ang kanilang sahod. Bakit? Sabi nila, maliba sa dami ng kapamilyang binubuhay mula asawa, anak, magulang at kapatid, Darasan na hindi tama ang pagbibigay ng benefits. At meron pa mga dagdag bayarin, kagaya ng contribution sa PhilHealth, na hindi naman daw nila napapakinabangan. PhilHealth, meron na bang pakinabang sa ating mga OFWs? To address this issue, nagpatawag po ako ng isang consultative meeting last January 11, 2023 with the Department of Migrant Workers, PhilHealth, and other stakeholders representatives of WS, and it has come to my attention, the alarming fact that the Universal Health Care Act, this important piece of legislation, has failed to address their needs. That is why I'm here today to support the proposals for an amendment to the Universal Health Care Law, one that will address the specific needs of our migrant workers and provide them with the support and protection required. Thus, I believe that we should exempt migrant workers from the requirement to pay contributions to feel help. As it stands, these workers are paying into a system that does not fully address their health care needs due to the nature of their work and their status as overseas workers. This is simply unacceptable, and it is time for us to provide them with a solution that works for them. We have to remember that these workers are the breadwinners of their families, which not only include their wives and children, but most often, they even support their entire clan. Yung halagang 8,700 pesos na annual contributions sa PhilHealth, marahil maliit lang sa nakararami, pero mabigat na talaga yun sa kanila. Tapos, ibibigay pa sa PhilHealth. In light of this, I believe that it is not appropriate to impose further financial burdens on our citizens, including our migrant workers. That is why I'm proposing that we revisit the issue of premium rate increases 
and work together to find a solution that is both fair and equitable. I'm glad that the president suspended the rate increase for contributions and the income floor remains for this year. But this is merely a temporary solution. Socioeconomic situation has yet to improve. And I, like I said, we need urgent solutions that will provide a more permanent effect. With the proposal amendments, agree that the field contributions for migrant workers be voluntary, again, voluntary, and empower the overseas workers' work administration to provide for their health care needs. This will ensure that our migrant workers have access to the support and protection they need when they need it most, while also freeing up funds that they can use to support their families and communities back home. In addition, I believe that we must also make use of modern technology and telemedicine to provide medical assistance to our migrant workers, no matter where they are in the world. This will allow them to access quality healthcare services without having to travel long distances or incur significant expenses. And it will be a major step forward in addressing the unique challenges they face. In conclusion, I believe this amendment to the universal health care law is a necessary and important step forward for our migrant workers. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you to make it a reality. Maraming salamat po at patuloy po akong sumasaludo sa ating mga OFWs in light of this. I believe that this is not appropriate to impose further financial burdens on our citizens, including our migrant workers. That is why I'm proposing that we revisit the issue of premium rate increase and work together to find solution that is both equitable. Naulit ata ito. Sino bang gumawa next? In conclusion, I believe that this amendment to the universal health care law is a necessary important step toward migrant workers, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Maraming salamat po. Ito po akong sumasaludo sa ating mga OFWs. Napanood niyo ba ang buong balitang ito? At nais niyo ba makapanood ng bagong balita araw-araw tungkol sa nangyayari sa ating bansa? Ang gawin mo lang, pindutin ang subscribe red button sa baba at huwag mo rin kalimutang pindutin ang bell icon, pati na rin ang nakasulat na all para ma-update ka sa aming mga bagong videos. Maraming salamat kaabangers!